All right, we're going to add um, some functionality that will send an email with this as the subject line and this as the message. So let's have a look at the code for this. So all the code that we're looking at at the moment is inside this form here on our HTML page. It's got a label that just says the word email. It's got the first input of type text with the placeholder text here, email subject line, and the ID of subject, and um, the email message with the ID of message. What we really want to focus on here is our JavaScript. Now I've linked to a JavaScript document called java.js which is currently empty. So let's do uh, let's do the JavaScript first. So what we need to do is create a function and we're going to call this send mail. We could call this whatever we want, would like but this is what I've chosen. When we click a button it's going to get the information from those boxes and send mail with that in it. So we're going to create a variable. This is going to be our uh, message. We'll write a body, body of the message. This is going to come from a documents dot get element by ID and we're going to look for a thing with the ID which if we have a look back in our index page right here is message. Oops. dot value. So this is going to get the value on node value. The value of this thing here, which should be the text written inside of it. We're also going to get a variable. This is going to be the subject line. It's going to come from our documents dot get elements by ID. This one is going to be the subject. Subject dot value. So we'll have a look back over here. This one is called a subject. Awesome. So now let's do the actual code. So we've gotten the uh, values of both of the text boxes now. Now we just need to open up a window to send our mail. So window dot uh, location dot href this is going to equal mail to and then an email address we want to send this to this will be our stakeholders address I'll just write mail at example dot com Alright, so this is who we're going to send it to. Now we can start to plug in the information that we need. So question mark, subject, so it'll rec recognize this is going to be the subject line, it's going to equal. Now we need to go outside the quotation marks here and say plus subject line. And then we can go back and talk about the rest that we need to do. Ampersand, and the body of the text is going to equal and we'll do that plus our body variable. So let's go ahead and save that. Now there's no actual way to access this function yet, so we need to add that to our HTML. So if we go in here, I'm going to go down a line, so br. We're going to get another form of input. This type is going to be a button. Uh, we'll give a value to the button and we'll just write click me and we'll give it an ID if we need to style it or anything later on um, email button and most importantly we need to say what's going to happen on click of this button it's going to access JavaScript and do that function which we called send mail these line, uh, these little guys here, just let us know that it's a function. It's got the exact same spelling. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. Now it does the exact same spelling as in our JavaScript. So let's go ahead and run this. So subject line, um, 
Hello, nice to meet you. Email message is gonna say like it's a pretty cool day today. Then I'm gonna click. Now this is gonna open up a new window. It's actually opening up on my other monitor over here. It's prompting me to pick a email service, but we'll notice from the email that I picked to mail at example.com, which is exactly what I've written in my JavaScript. Mail at example.com. The subject is nice to meet you, like I wrote in the first text box. And here is the uh, body. It's a pretty cool day today. So that's how we do a mail to function with variables from um, input fields.